the caucus reunion goes, that's something that we put together uh, last year in 2008. And uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't played with Cargus uh, since 1993, so it's kind of very, uh, very exciting to come back and play those old songs again, and the reaction's been great. I've been now doing stuff with Arch Enemy, but, but um, this is still something different, it's different, but those fans are still there, it seems like. Metal fans are very loyal, and um, yeah, it's just been a really good feeling. Good atmosphere in the band, I think. Up until the last year, Arch Enemy has been so busy for seven years straight, it's touring, touring, touring. So it's been a little bit nice break for the other guys in that band uh, in Arch Enemy. I actually brought the Arch Enemy drummer with me to Carcass, so he's drumming, Daniel's drumming for Carcass as well. We did two guitars. We did this one, which uh, has got a graphic on it. And uh, I'm calling both guitars tire. This is the other one, the white one. Both of them are like a part of the Tyrant series that we're creating and uh, that we've done. But this one I called Bloodstorm with the graphic. And actually the graphic was done by the guy who um, does the artwork for the uh, Arch Enemy albums, a good friend of mine. And he just came up with this and I think it's good. It kind of ties in with, with what I'm all about as well. I'm a bit of a controlling sort of personality. I like to, I'm really, on, I like to be on top of what I'm playing. So I was 100% involved with this guitar. And I think that's the way it should be with an, with an artist guitar, a signature guitar. It should be really be what that player is playing. And it's a basic setup, you know, but it's just the small things that, that make a difference, you know, like the neck. We came up with this new neck. It just fits my hand. It's just perfect for me. And, um, and everybody that plays that, all my guitar player friends that pick it up, everybody is just like, really blown away by it. I wanted to develop something that was really my own and that I knew metal fans would enjoy as well, metal guitar players. So we just knocked this out pretty quick, but it was just so, it was a very creative process and um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun developing a guitar. It was the most fun I've ever had working on a guitar was with the guys. Yeah. It's got a great team there and you know, with the wood shop there in, in, in house and everything, it's just, I was just blown away by the, just the pure love and the craftsmanship that they have for the instruments. And that's something that's very appealing to a guitar player, you know, to see that kind of love for guitars. And, and it's, not just a, it's not just shipping boxes, you know. Pickup is um, something that I've developed together with, uh, you know, with DMT uh, pickups with the Dean people. So that's something that I'm very excited about too. Cause, uh, that's probably one of the best pickups, best sounding pickups uh, I've ever played. And I didn't believe that, you know, I thought, you know, you got to go with the big famous brands to get the, the good quality sound from a pickup, but actually they're doing such great stuff there, the DMT part, and Pat Baker there is he's a tone wizard, and I think he's amazing actually. So he's, he helped me develop that, and, or he developed it, and I was going yes or no, and yes, and stuff like that. It's a passive pickup, of course, but uh, what I do is I play, the music I play is very um, rhythmically for the rhythms, the riffs, it's very, it's down-tuned, it's super heavy, it's got to be chunky, high gain. But then when I play my solos, I want to have that uh, more of a classic hard rock type sound. That's what my influences for lead guitar playing are more uh, traditional, I guess you could call it. Yeah. So I wanted to pick up that could you know, bring all that stuff out and do, all, do justice to both both sort of uh, tones. And most sustain I've ever had out of a guitar, and I, always, I thought, always thought that was bullshit. I seen the Dean, <laughs> other Dean players, you know, on Dean TV, and I was like, there's no difference. They can, how could there be, you know? When I got these guitars, well, actually, I got one of Michael Schenker's models that I was playing last year on the road before I had this one, and I just, I, uh, I just couldn't believe the sustain I was getting out of that thing. I don't know if it's the the string through the body or what it is or just how they set up the wood and I don't know really know what it is but they just sing and it's great. It's great because the way I play as well I like to hold on to notes and I like when they just don't die out you know so I can really hold on to a note and shape it and uh, have fun with it yeah it's great. That's a very positive thing about the guitar yeah. and this one and I was kind of worried you know with my signature model I was a little bit concerned I was like will it be as good as the Schenker one that I've been playing you know for six months and uh, Obviously, I like this one a little bit more because it's actually the feel of it is just a little more me. 
So obviously, I've never played a bra graphic guitar before. So this is something new for me, and I've just started playing it live now. And it kind of opens up a new world for me, because I might do another one, you know, and, you know, it's just something different. Yeah, these inlays are, um, it's basically a, an ancient Nordic symbol. I, you know, I'm from Scandinavia. This is basically a symbol that was found on the first Viking, the, the earliest sort of remains of a Viking ship that they've ever found. This one, this symbol was sort of carved into that Viking ship. And uh, it's obviously an ancient Nordic symbol. Yeah, and I just thought that would be kind of cool. I always thought it was a cool symbol. And uh, I like the fact that it's kind of blocky as well. It's not like, uh, it's easy to find in the dark stages. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think every guitar brand, brand has got their own fans and, you know, like, oh no, he's playing Dean, or oh yes, he's playing Dean. Some people are very positive, some people are a little bit negative, maybe, but I think the serious players that have, you know, guitar player friends that I have, they come out to the show, whatever, hang out, or I'm touring with them, they pick up my guitar and they're like, wow, I can't do it. You know, and that's, to me, that's, well, they come up after the show and say, oh, wow, your tone was amazing. That is what I, you know, I remember, and I, that's what really counts for me.